how many lead code problems are enough to crack companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, etc. Let's figure out in this video. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. For those who don't know me, my name is Rishabh and I'm currently working as a software engineer at Google India. And in this video, we are going to talk about lead code problems. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So if you are someone who is not aware of lead code, for them only, let me briefly explain what lead code is. Lead code is basically a website where you have a lot of data structures, algorithms and general problem solving related questions to practice for interviews. And what sets lead code apart from other sites is the quality of problems and the variety. So before getting into the numbers, let me do some calculation for you. Let's assume you are solving nearly 300 problems. Let's assume that number for now. And out of those 300 problems, you have 100 easy problems, 150 medium problems and 50 hard problems. Now, in best case scenario, let's assume that you can solve an easy problem in 20 minutes, a medium problem in 30 minutes and a hard problem in 45 minutes. Okay. So the total time invested to solve these 300 problems would be like 100 into 20 plus 150 into 30 plus 50 into 45. So that would come roughly around 8,750 minutes which is similar to 145 hours. Now this is the best case scenario. If we take on an average, let's consider the number as 200 hours. Okay. So this is the time you are investing only to solve problems. Jo theory wala part hai, usko hum alag rakte. Now, if you are investing 200 hours in solving problems, then I think you should be knowing what is happening behind the scene when you are solving these problems, right? So there are majorly four things that's happening. One is your implementation skill is getting better. You are implementing more and more problems. So you are getting better at your implementation skill. Number two, you are getting familiar with more patterns. So more the number of problems you solve, higher the chances of getting similar question in interview. So that is helpful in some way, right? Number three, you are gaining more confidence. So let's say if you are solving these many problems and later on, whenever you are getting a similar problem in interviews or somewhere else, and you are able to solve that problem, uh, you know, within minutes that actually boost your confidence, right? So confidence boosting is one of the major, you know, outcome of solving these problems. Number four is obviously you are learning along the way. You will be solving problems. If you can't solve a problem, you will be, uh, you know, uh, looking at the discussion section and other resources uh, in the internet. So you will obviously learn along the way. So these are the things that is happening behind the scene whenever you are solving these problems. Now the main mudde pe. So I think that first of all, you count the count. Because even if you solve 600 problems on lead code, there are still chances that in the interview you will get such a problem mile, which you don't know and you are not able to solve that problem and you get rejected in the interview. There are, there are chances for that, right? You cannot guarantee that you will be able to crack every interview in the world uh, by solving these many number of problems. So, first of all, let's forget the count. We approach it in a different way. First of all, let's do this that you make a list of topics. Okay? So, first of all, let's make a list of topics. So first write down the topics that you can think of and study those topics from YouTube or any other resources. Fix topic ke related problems lead code pe solve karte raho till the point you are comfortable implementing problems from that topic. Okay. Now start with easy problems only. No issues in that. But the focus should be on learning and being confident and not on the account. Okay. For example, let's consider binary search. So first thing first, you should be learning what is binary search and how to implement a basic binary search algorithm. Okay? Then you go to lead code, filter the problems with topic binary search and then sort the problems based on number of submission and then start solving the problems. Right? You solve like 20, 30, 40 problems first and then you ask yourself, are you feeling comfortable implementing binary search in any problem? Right? If your answer is yes, then you ask yourself, are you able to identify in a problem that it's a binary search problem? If your answer is yes, then you are good enough with binary search and you can move to the next topic. Got it? 
So whenever someone asks me on LinkedIn or Instagram that how many lead code problems we should be solving to crack any interview that we face, my answer is simple. On a personal level, I believe that every human being is unique. So your count should be unique also, isn't it? So that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, then do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So, मिलते हैं अगले वीडियो में. Till then, bye bye.